Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another video, this time another uh, reaction video, where if you can't read, and if you can't read I guess I'll say it, Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, another trailer has dropped, and it's coming from the D23 Expo, that just passed like, what, two days ago, at the time, not two days ago, I think it actually happened yesterday, my bad. And, yeah, uh, I tried, to be honest, I tried my best to stay away from any Kingdom Hearts 3 news, because I wanted to have a, like, I wanted to know nothing going into the game, but I just, I don't know, I just can't, I can't, I can't handle it, I can't take it, I, I need to know, right? So, I don't really like doing reaction videos, the only time I ever do it is if there's like a press conference or a Nintendo Direct or something like that. But, as the fact is, I do like Kingdom Hearts a lot. I'm, I'm kind of at, at, I'm, I'm at terms with it, with, uh, Kingdom Hearts and Persona are constantly fighting for my, for my favorite, for my favorite games. But, I just have to know, I know nothing about anything right now, so this is all gonna be new to me. Actually, that's a lie. I do know that the what is supposed to be the new opening song for kingdom hearts 3 is in this video that's the only thing that i know so without wasting any more time let's go straight into it this trailer represents a game currently in development the final game will feature text and audio in english language don't assume your dreams are just fantasies if you can imagine a world believe all right that's the best are they in fucking wait hold up are they in deep jungle and Marluxia's back <laughs> oh yeah I forgot Sora doesn't remember what happened in uh, Castle Oblivion my question is, Sora doesn't remember, but Marluxia obviously remembers. Why would Marluxia go back to working for the organization if he wanted to basically usurp the throne? What the fuck am I looking at? Oh my god, what the fuck is Goofy? Oh my god, what the fuck is Don- Ew, you're all so ugly. What? Oh, Mike Wazowski looks fine. Sully, what the fuck is wrong with you? Sora, what is wrong with you? What the fuck? <laughs> Mike Wazowski. <laughs> That's hilarious. Why the fuck is- Why does Sully look so like- Like a chibi version of himself? What the fuck am I looking at? This place looks great, but the characters look fucking dumb. What? What the fuck? Has has Tetsuya Nomura been uh been been uh has he has he converted over to the furry side? Is that what's happening right now? Cause I knew he said in an interview, him or someone else said that we were gonna witness more um Oh no, that's uh that's the Tangle World. Oh, okay, I thought they were in Deep Jungle. I wouldn't mind seeing Tarzan again. I never watched Tangle. Seems like uh, Ariel is a summon. I never watched Tangle. I should actually watch that. What is this place that they're in right now? Oh wait, no, it's still Toy Story. Okay, it's Woody and Buzz and Corn. Why is the hold up? Hold up. There's something I don't like right here. What the fuck happened there? Why did the Why did the video setting just drop all the way? What the fuck? Fix that. What are you doing? Go back. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why you look like shit? Fix yourself. I'm watching this off of uh, GameSpot's channel, so I guess it's just their quality, because it looks like shit. The teacups are awesome, though. Look at the fucking teacups. Can't fuck with the teacups. Okay. That seems like that would be their, uh, their limit. 
or maybe like uh, something that happens in that boss fight. That is, this is all one like this is all one boss fight that I'm seeing right now. A UFO. So, laugh power. Do we need that to like use the doors to like move through the through the facility in uh, the Monster Inc's world? I guess they're chasing after Randall. What the fuck? The Dream Eaters are back? Why? What the fuck? What the hell? Is that Ventanitas? Wait, so what just happened? Ventus's heart recognized Ventanitas and made Sora react? Okay. So Ventanitas has a new outfit. Okay. Coming 2018. I hope you guys can keep that promise. Alright, let's go back real quick. I wanna fucking what? I wanna I wanna I wanna re re see some things. Sorry, I'm just trying to see what he says. Alright, wait, what the fuck he say? The only organization in I, Marluxia Survey, how interesting is it to see you again, Sora? What? Okay. You know, they did do that whole time travel bullshit, so this might be Marluxia before- Actually, no, it can't be Marluxia before, because he remembers Sora, so why the fuck would Marluxia be working for them again? That's weird. Um... Yeah, Sully looks fucking weird. He looks really weird. I mean, Boo looks the same that she does in, in the movie. Fucking, let me go back to what the hell Sora and the gang look like. Hold up. Let's go back. Let's go back. What the fuck? Yo, Goofy, you look high as shit. Oh my god, you're so ugly. What? Like, Donald's whatever. Why does Donald have bat wings? What the fuck? And like his... Oh, I thought his bill was forming into fangs, but that's just like the camera angle, I guess. What the fuck, Sora? What the hell? What happened to you, man? Come on. I'd rather see better transformations than this. This looks like... It's interesting, don't get me wrong, but... God damn, yo, you look like shit. Go Goofy look fucking... Well, Goofy look goofy as fuck. I can't even... Look at this motherfucker. Look at him. Look at him. And he has heterochromia for no fucking reason. Oh my god. Yo, Goo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a lot of fun making fun of your ass. Holy shit! If they see the kid, the KID. <laughs> All right. Well, fuck. What else is in the trailer? Let's see. Let's see. We have the skydiving mechanic. Uh, is Sora using that weapon, or is that like a reaction? Oh, I guess his keyblades changed into that. Wait, what? They changed into Monster Inc. brand things, like the like the equipment and shit. Like I guess that's the that's not the canisters to hold screen, but that is the hard hats and stuff. So I guess that's like the special Monster Inc. weapon. Their quick claws. That seems seems like what they're called. Rail slide. All right. What else do we have? See uh, Rapunzel swinging around using the environment and shit, so not only that the characters, not only that Sora uses the environment, the other characters do too. That's nice. Shot lock. Shot lock is back. Sora has the ability to use shot lock, but we've seen that already. Miracle staff. Alright. Hyper hammer. I wonder what that's from. Where the fuck do you get the teacups from? Mad teacups. We might revisit Alice in Wonderland. That would make a lot of sense for the teacups. Especially since they're called Mad Teacups. You know, you always see the Mad Hatter drinking the tea and shit. This fucking boss fight looks interesting. Because this is all one boss. But this is early on in the game, because look at the fucking health bars. If, if we're doing things like Kingdom Hearts 2 style, we might revisit these worlds. But yeah, there's not a lot of health there. This is like kind of, I would say this is like, what, the fourth world in the game or something like that? So that's kind of early off in the game. Alright. Twin yo-yos. Okay. And those are still Monster Inc. brand. 
It seems like the logo for the weapons are right there with the commands. That's nice. Okay. So there's a lot of like options of attack in this game. That's what I'm seeing. I just hope that they have at least the, at least the same amount of worlds that Kingdom Hearts 2 had. You know. You know what I just realized? Uh, the monster, the monster Inc. world. All the scenes are are like towards the end of the movie. So there's no. So you're only within the factory, and I guess the story for that world will take place from when they're trying to get Boo back, and they have to chase Randall, and from then onward. It'll probably be like an original story or something, but yeah, that's uh, that's Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that's all right. I'll bite. All right, that's. I'm a little confused about the monster designs. Goofy looks like a well, holy shit, but, but. I think there's another trailer actually, cause I did not hear the new opening that they were talking about. So. I'm going to go see if there is another trailer, and if there is, I'm going to look into that. So, I will be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Gentlemen's doesn't have a plural with an S. It's gentlemen. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're back. I found the other trailer. I have not watched it yet. And I do not think it has an English version, because the only... The only place I see it at is, is like, in Japanese, like, up here and shit. So, yeah, we're gonna... It's a two-minute one. We're gonna go into it. See what we get. Watch me get copyrighted because of this song. Jesus. All right, what we got? I can't read that. I know it's not made for me, but I can't read it. I can't read it. Okay, we have Master Ericus and Zaynort playing chess. Alright. Got the Rock Titan. Wow, young Zaynort just looks fucking dumb. Can I'm sorry, we, we gotta go back, yo. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. I'm sorry, we just gotta focus on that for a moment. I'm going to put up a picture of what he looked like in Dream Drop Distance and look at him now. Why the fuck does he look like that? What happened to him? What is what's up with your face, bro? Seriously? Like we're doing that that Marvel versus Capcom Chun-Li bullshit again? Like come on, what the fuck happened? You look you look like a jackass. You don't even look like interesting anymore. You just look stupid. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there's a clear difference. There's a clear difference from in-game cutscenes to to cinematic cutscenes, because there's like extra lighting and stuff. This is all in-game. I can tell this is an in-game right now. Okay, they're in Twilight Town. Can I hold up? Let's go back. I'm sorry to interrupt it, but let's go back. That was. We have Zimnus and Ansem, Ansem Seeker of Darkness. And I want a clearer look on his face to see what he looks like. So please. Okay, it's a little blurry, but he, he doesn't look too bad. Alright. He doesn't look as bad as fucking Young Zaynort. That is Way to Dawn, and it's broken. What the fuck? Riku, what the- Wait, hold up. What? Why do you look like that? What the fuck? I think... Alright, hold up. No, 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 no. There's a problem here. There's a problem. There, there's some sort of a problem here. Alright, alright. There. Sorry. There's some sort of a problem. Riku, you look... You look a lot like a certain prince that I know. You know? You know, Riku? Listen, Tetsuya Nomura, I, I noticed that you don't like 
the way that they made changes to Final Fantasy 15, even though they made changes to a game that did not exist prior. But he is letting those emotions seep through into this game because Riku is basically Noctis right now. His whole entire attire and his fucking hairstyle. Like, his hairstyle changed. It's not all the way down. Look at that shirt. It's not supposed to be that. If I wanted to see Sasuke all over the place, i go fucking play Naruto. God damn it. Like, even like even the shorts, they're not the same, like, they're, they're the same style of clothes, but they're not the same design of clothes. You know what I mean? You look just like Noctis. I cannot. Come on, Riku. Man. I'm not saying he looks bad, but Jesus. Now, Riku, why are you leaving your Keyblade there? What are you doing? And why are you guys in the world of darkness? I would like to know more, but I don't speak Japanese. Alright, well. That's it coming 2018 i you guys keep saying that shit i hope it's true you know square enix is notorious for fucking lying straight up to your face final fantasy 15 coming november oh wait we delayed it sorry but um yeah that's a uh, that's kingdom hearts um don't get me wrong i'm a big fan of kingdom hearts and i'm not saying all is bad it's just that uh, you know what? If they wanted to do the monster thing for Sora, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it, right? Because I guess it makes sense. Because um, because if you had Boo, the main character, like character of the plot, is that she's the only human, and you had like, and you had you know Sora going there, and he's a human too, that would make some some confusing writing, like some weird writing choices. So, it's kind of necessary for them to be monsters, but at the same time, god damn, yo, you, uh, I don't care how, how weird Donald and Goofy look, but Sora, oh my god, you just look like you came straight out of fucking Hot Topic, Jesus. Speaking of Hot Topic, fucking Riku, I have no qualms against the design, but I just, Jesus, can we go back to that? Oh my fucking god. Can we just please please why why did they have to make you look like noctis like i was fine with him just cutting his hair that was fine you know a couple of clothes change but they changed his hairstyle again jesus christ and now they're gonna make him exactly like noctis they even gave him the fucking gloves what <laughs> Even gave him the fucking Noctis gloves. He's Noctis. He's Noctis now. Oh my god, he's fucking Noctis. <sighs> Mickey has a, has a has some minor changes to his outfit too. I didn't notice that. Can we get a better look at Mickey? Yeah, he got new clothes too, so. Alright. So it's safe to say that you're obviously gonna be able to play as both um Sora and Riku. Each of them will probably have their different respective stories. You know, your main teammates for Sora being being Donald and Goofy. And main teammate for Riku, probably Mickey this time. You know, Mickey's probably going to play a vital role like he always does. And hopefully this time, if he has any secrets to hide, he'll fucking say it out loud instead of hiding it and not talking about them. Look at that smile. That smile hides a lot of secrets. Motherfucker knows the whole entire plot. And he don't tell nobody. What do you mean we could have saved Aqua? What? Fucking idiot. Alright, but um... <sighs> Riku's leaving... Leaving fucking Way to Dawn. In the fucking... In the goddamn... In the goddamn realm of darkness. Alright, so that's... That's questionable, and I don't know why it's broken. It's safe to say that this scene doesn't take place... Um, in the beginning of the game. And if it does take place in the beginning of the game, it's probably like here where we, it probably does something where it's like, this is where we are now, and and this is how we ended up here, right? Like, they'll probably do flashbacks. But this, I would say this is probably like, not towards the end, maybe towards the end, but I, I would suggest that it's more like the middle way. Like, like, this is probably the, 
the era of the game where where uh Riku would have a moment to reflect on himself and then after that you'll probably go and revisit the world at least that's what i think another interesting thing is that uh xehanort's eye thing we don't i haven't heard like the last time we heard shit about this was uh was um kingdom hearts key unchained right i think that was called unchained or uncovered or something like that but you know the cinematic story that's basically kingdom hearts key um but yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, I really have nothing else to say on this. At least not right now. You know, besides that, the music for the opening. I was, uh. You know, for one and two, the openings were very, like, heavy on pop. You know, like, uh, J pop. But this one is more like just a. Like a somber, more calming opening. I would like to see the opening cinematic that will go with this song. Um, it may not be the opening, it may just be, like, the credit song, but, yeah, that's Kingdom Hearts 3, that, those are the trailers, at least I'm, at least, unless I'm missing one, right? And if I'm missing one, then I don't fucking know about it. But, yeah, that's it. Um, if you guys have any other, any other feelings about the trailers... Or if you think that I'm wrong and you want to tell me why I'm wrong, I go ahead, put them in the comments. I'll I'll be happy to read them. Other than that, um, if you if you like this little reaction video, then please please hit the like button and I don't know, check my channel out. I guess that's all I can really say. Um, in the description, it's a link to my channel, or you can just hit the subscribe button or something like that. I don't know. And if you do hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit that uh that bell notification shit so you can get notifications and stuff because YouTube for some reason just God damn it, it just loves making things harder for people. But um that's mostly it. Uh and there's nothing else that I really have to say on this matter. And uh yeah. Yeah, that's it, really. So, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Okay, guys, remember when I said see you later? Uh, that was a fucking lie. Um, I actually found a trailer with the English subs. Uh, and I just want to go back to this part and see what the fuck Riku says, because he might say something important. Come on, Noctis, tell me how you feel. Can't use this keyblade anymore, might as well leave it here. In case the other me needs it. What? Excuse me? Hello? Oh, what? Oh, what now? Unless the other me needs it? Even 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 Mickey, the man who knows every fucking plot line in the world, motherfucker goes like he goes like, "What the fuck are you talking about, Riku? Get off your fucking what? Get off your high horse!" In case the other me needs it, what the fuck does that mean? Wait, is that way to dawn? Yeah, no, it is way to dawn. Cause it. Yeah, it has to be weighted on. It's not it's not the other one, my bad. Yeah, it is weighted on. What am I saying? Cause it has the angel wing on it. Okay, well shit. In case the other me needs it. Well, there are two thoughts that I have. Um, one is Kingdom Hearts three is supposed to be about uh getting back the getting back of uh, Ventus Aqua and Terra. And uh maybe Shion. And, and yeah, I think those are the people they're trying to get back. I think that's it. So, uh, maybe they might get back. Nom oh, they might try and get back Nominee and Roxas as well. I'm not sure. They might try. Uh, but I know they're trying with, what, Xion. Xion is something that might be a possibility. And then, of course, Terra, Terra, Aqua, and Ventus are the main things. But, um... When he means the other me, 
the first thought goes to Terra, of course, because he's the one who who passed down the Keyblade to uh, Riku in the first place. And the second thought that I have is there are two. There's two ways this can go. Either, either actually, there's three ways this can go. Possibly, we can go for the anime anime trope where it's like there there's a, a dark side of Riku or something like that, right? And he's and he's referring to the the darkness of Ansem inside him. Anime trope in case the, my dark side needs it or whatever, right? Because this is the realm of darkness. Um, the second way is Riku may have discovered how to time travel just like Xehanort. Well, rather Xehanort, more like Ansem. Um, he may have discovered to, how to time travel and left it here so that he can come and get it back at a later time or a different version of himself can come back and get it at a later time um and the third part to that which for some reason i'm blanking on it right now oh yeah i remember what i was thinking um i was thinking that he might it, it, this is a slim chance because it's fucking riku and we never had anything like this but tetsuya nomura is is very proficient at at pulling story plots out of his ass um uh, uh fucking uh riku might have someone else residing in his heart that's not that's not ansem just like how zora has ventus just like how zora has ventus residing in his heart riku might have someone like that that we don't know and maybe he just found out about it or something like that or maybe uh or maybe he has a nobody or something i don't know but my, I'm going to go with time travel because obviously this is not going to be the last Kingdom Hearts game in the series, but it is going to be the last of the Xehanort saga. So this probably takes place after Riku finds out some very important key information and and probably got separated with Mickey. So that's why Mickey's probably in the dark for once in a fucking blue moon because Mickey usually knows everything with his fuck. Look at that smile. Hides all secrets. Will never tell none. Look at you. Look at you, fucking beady ass eyes. God damn it. You're fucking asshole, Mickey. But, yeah. Now, it's the end of the video. So, yeah. All the stuff that I said before, I mean it again. And, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.